What's up everybody, Afro Joe here. Uh, I want to talk about this story I read the other day on my friend's uh, Facebook. She posted this up. And I thought, I, it, when I read it, I knew this was going to happen one day. That somebody was going to get hurt because of this bath thought shit. Um, what I found out was, uh, there's this 30, hold on, let me read it right, because I don't want to fuck it up, but, uh, uh, there was a man, there was 31 year old named Rudy Eugene, and, uh, took some bath salt, <laughs> he took some bath salt, <coughs> stripped down naked, and started to eat, uh, eat on, the victim was asleep, the 65 year old man named Ronald Popo was asleep and Ron and uh, Rudy started eating his face. I'm going to put the link in the description box below, but I'll tell you this, man. It's like this. People knew the danger of this shit. You've seen it. Some of the people probably seen it on the story on Dateline. Probably seen it on uh, CNN. Probably seen it on the, the news and everywhere else. But it's funny on how they hear about how these kids are dying from it or committing suicide because the stuff will actually fuck their mind up to a point where they want to take their own lives. I say, and I say, this is the fucked up thing about it, where it got to a point where somebody took it and it started eating a man's face. How far does it have to go where the government realized that this shit is very dangerous? Now I'm sitting up here, not I'm sitting up here, and these parents are sitting up there and not paying attention to their kids, cause. Like I said, these kids, these parents don't give a fuck about their kids because they're too busy trying to figure out what the fuck Obama doing. Instead of y'all trying to get all up in Obama's Kool-Aid or anybody else's Kool-Aid, I think you need to pay attention more to your child than you need to do anybody else because kids take this damn shit. Kids take this shit and inhale it, they snort it, they inject it, they eat it, they ingest it, and so on and so forth, not realizing this is going on. The 65-year-old man got his face eaten off by a 31-year-old man who was humped up on bath salt. Come on now, this is this is ridiculous. Where the government, this is ridiculous. Where stories that come out like this, man. See, it's like this. Yeah, they know the they know the uh, the consequences or the uh, side effects of this bath salt. Instead of the parents getting off their ass and trying to get the uh, the stores to stop selling them or trying to get the consumer, no, trying to get the companies to stop making them. They sitting up there bitching about other things besides this shit. Now, I wonder how long before another, uh, before a kid inhales or take this shit. And the kid ends up killing somebody or end up eating somebody's face or doing something so bad doing something so bad that that they have to spend the rest of their lives in prison because if, if if a parent really gave a fuck about their kids, don't you think they would have took this, uh, went to the consumer and told them to take it down, stop selling them, do something to put a stop off the selling of this basalt stuff? Because it makes no sense on how this stuff is, on how this stuff is so dangerous, but 
this stuff is dangerous and this got it got this far where a 30, 30, 31 year old man homeless man eats a 65 year old man's face it's gotten that dangerous and I think it's kind of fucked up all these people bitching about the election up there trying to figure out if they want to vote for Romney or Obama but they can't even step up and do something about this damn uh, <coughs> bath salt shit you bitch to complain about gay marriage in certain states fine it's not legal in certain states but when it comes down to shit like this y'all brush it off like it ain't nothing you brush it off like it ain't nothing then you got these little small these little small consumers making the bath saw and selling them themselves and I sit up here and I still question I say all oh, y'all out of mm, I just couldn't figure out why I just couldn't figure out why I bitch about the election, why I bitch about Obama, why I bitch about what Obama's done, but y'all can't put all that time and effort and energy in, in trying to get bath salt banned, trying to make it a, a illegal substance, trying to put a, a and uh trying to stop it or whatever trying to get it stopped made or whatever but y'all won't people won't do it because they're too busy on the election why Why y'all so busy on the election but y'all can't focus on this bath salt stuff that's actually making a person go crazy enough to eat somebody's face or make them go crazy enough that a teen would actually commit uh, kill somebody eat their face then commit suicide like what's up how long before how long before a teenager does that like how long before a teenager actually inhales this stuff and after he inhales it he kills five people and then three hours and eats seven and eat their faces then walk away like it ain't nothing happened because this stuff is dangerous man and this, and this incident about this man he, about this happening happened down in Miami Florida Miami Florida now Miami Florida it happened down in Miami Florida and people oh bath salt ain't that bad oh, the, the guy just ate somebody's face just ate somebody's face and I just couldn't figure out on how people work today because they're too busy humped up on trying to get rid of Obama out of office and they're forgetting about the kids getting humped up on bath salt and killing each other and, and, sh and so on and so forth because it, it, it's, it's messed up to see this that a, a teenager to get a hold to this and do the same thing as this 31 year old now the 31 year old got killed he's dead he's gone after the cops found him eating this man's face they shot him several times and and he's dead and he's gone because this happened see what happens like I know y'all gonna say <clears throat> I know I know what y'all gonna say uh well you can't blame the people who make who make up the bath salt? You can't blame the people who sell it. You gotta blame the kids. No, you gotta realize, man. They make it. They know these kids are are abusing it by ingesting it, or inhaling it, or sniffing it, or shooting it up. And they don't care because all they care about is that paper. As long as these teens are committing, uh, killing themselves off, or somebody eating their faces, eating, inhaling it and eat somebody's faces, then they don't care. As long as they're getting that money, they don't care. Uh, like back when I was a teenager, man, I was smoking weed. See. Back when, like I said, back when I was a kid, we didn't have this bath salt. Well, we had crack, cocaine, heroin, acid, shrooms, 
weed and probably a little bit of huffing paint or markers but we didn't start huffing no uh, 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 uh what's that stuff uh, the the fr uh, cool the fr cooling freeze the freezing cool no, that that stuff that you put in the air conditioning the freon there you go we didn't hit, hit, huff no freon we didn't sit there and ingest this stuff called bath salt we didn't do none of that we had acids we had acid we had weed we had crack we had cocaine we had shrooms that's all we had but we never ingested free huff freon or taking uh, ingest some kind of bath salt BS but these but these kids are inhaling it and these parents are because one thing is these parents are not really don't really give a damn if they're if their kids are committing suicide or killing somebody else because one thing if they gave a damn about the kids if they really care this is how you can tell if their parents really care about their parents if if, if they tried to if they got the kids off the drugs or trying to put a stop to the, the store selling them or whatever trying to make the make a stop to uh, put a stop to the people who makes it because I'm sitting up here thinking I was like how is, is this going to get to a point where somebody else uh, ingest this stuff or huff paint or whatever and kill somebody rob a store kill somebody start eating faces because think about it somebody could huff this stuff ingest it inhale it and then next thing you know it is they going off in the sandwich shop now because it's going to be funny when they go up into a subway and they kill everybody in the store then they're going to end up making a sandwich out of these people because the damn people too damn stupid to realize that this stuff is more dangerous than anything else I'll tell you man this this stuff is very dangerous and ain't nobody busting a move trying to put a stop to this how come it's got to be somebody that's talking about it just to get these people rolling oh I think we should get this bath out and get rid of it cause, cause it's killing our kids and we got some crazy fucker down in uh, Miami eating people's faces and stuff it takes a inc it takes one incident to get a bunch of people riled up to want to do something y'all could have did it when the first came out like I for real why didn't why didn't anybody put a stop, a stop to this bath salt stuff when it was reported on the news, reported on CNN, when it was on Dateline, it was on so-and-so, on whatever else? Why didn't they get up and do something then instead of wait to the last minute where a man eats another man's face? See what I'm saying? They, people don't care. They're too busy. Oh, we trying to get Obama out the hall because we don't like him. He, he ain't what we need. We don't need a black bear. And we need Donald Trump to raise taxes. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care about that paper more than y'all care about your kids. And there's kids out there inhaling this stuff, ingesting this stuff, and all this stuff. And y'all don't care that they doing all this stuff and they commit suicide because they was hopped up on this bath salt bullshit. Oh, for real, what's more? Okay, let me ask y'all. Which is more important? Trying to get Obama out of office or your kids hopping up on bath salt? Because to me, it seems like uh, kids hopping up on bath salt is more important than Obama. Because it's getting nowhere with these people. It's really getting nowhere with this because I'm, I'm tired of hearing these stories about a teen abusing this stuff and ain't nobody doing nothing about it ain't nobody doing nothing about it but they only people that's doing this is these damn media outlets that's it ain't no parent got together oh we need to put a stop to this oh we need to do something about it oh we need to get rid of it all they think about now is oh we need to get Obama out of office we need to get rid of him that's it that's all people think about. But it takes somebody getting killed and 
getting killed to make people get off their ass and do something about it. Why should it? Why should it take to the last minute to get people wrong, getting off their ass to do something about it? So I had to take a 31 year old to get humped up on bath salt, get naked, and start eating somebody's face to get y'all to understand that y'all should have did something beforehand. Beforehand. Now, you got one man dead and you got one laying up in the hospital with half a face. Now, that's kind of stupid. You got two people off it. You got one person dead and you got another one sitting up in the hospital with half a face and y'all about to be pitching a bitch about it. Oh, bass out this, bass out that, bass out. We need to get the hell away from it. We need to put a stop to it, get rid of it, ban it, and all this and that. So I have to take a man and losing a face to get y'all to get get y'all off your ass. It's, it's is that all it is? It has to take a man getting his face eaten to, to make people get off their butts, get off their ass to do something, to bust a move, to bust a grape, to bust, to do any damn thing. Because I'm sick and tired of hearing about this shit. I'm sick and tired of where, what was it? When Savia was a fucking bad thing. All these kids here inhaling Savia and smoking Savia. Ain't nobody did nothing. A few months later, what happened? Kids still smoking salvia. And what happened? They had a bad reaction to it and they died. Now we come down to bath salt and they come down to bath salt and y'all won't do nothing. But it took a man to eat another man's face to make y'all realize, man, we need to do something about this shit. I'm trying to sit up there listening to these stories, man, and fuckers waiting till the last minute to, to do any damn thing about it. They could have saved both these men's lives, but they were too, people are too damn busy to get off their fat asses and stop bitching about Obama or trying to kiss up to Romney to do any damn thing. I'm telling you, man, just watch, just watch a damn teenager get a hold of bath salt. Get a hold of bath salt, inhale it, ingest it, sniff it, whatever. And they kill, they and they kill somebody and start eating them, or they do something even worse. Or what's worse than killing somebody than eat? I don't know. I ain't no killer. But you know, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. How long before something like that really happens to a teenager? Before a teenager actually sits there and ingests this shit. And they do something, and they start eating somebody's face. How long? A day, uh, what, a second, a minute, an hour, a day, a week, a month, a year. We don't know because parents are too damn dumb to even give a flying fuck about their kids. I'm just saying like a T.I. is, man. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of people kissing ass up to Rombie not giving two shits of a fuck about their kids are getting hopped up on bath salt and they up there committing suicide. Y'all should have did something before. But one thing is they should have did something with the, with this shit beforehand instead of waiting till the last minute because it's very stupid on how they're sitting up there letting this shit continue. You ain't never heard about a person killing somebody over weed. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke weed. Yeah, what the hell you gonna do? What what weed gonna do? Some get you high, give you the munches, and make you sleepy. What bath salt gonna do? Make you eat people's faces. I'm just saying, man. Don't sit up there and try to take up for the consumer. Don't take up for the people who makes it or sells it. It's all about parents doing their fucking job it's all about <laughs> it's all about doing the right thing it's all about uh it's all about putting an end to this bath salt shit because it's getting us nowhere when people are not giving two shits of a fuck about uh, about about this shit like i said man you got you got a man eating somebody's face now. You probably saying, oh, he sound like a broken record. I'm going to keep saying until these people realize something, man. 
Jace get off they ass and put an end to this bath salt shit. Because it's going to get to a point where I'm going to end up seeing a kid. I'm going to see a kid that, kid that just killed five people and ate their faces or something like that. That's all it is. That's all it is. I'm going to end up seeing a kid doing something so bad because they was inhaling and just shooting a bath salt. Because people don't give a fuck. Why? See, it's like it's why not put it into bath salt now before it gets to even worse, where a group of kids are doing worse things. Because it's getting ridiculous. It's getting stupid. Because I'm tired of hearing stories about this bullshit stuff, and ain't nobody doing nothing but sitting up there letting this continue on. If you can bitch about Obama. If you can bitch about Obama, you can bitch about Basol. That's all it is to it, man. This has been Afro Joe. You, this has been Afro Joe. You can, I mean, tell like T.I. is. Uh, if you don't like what I got to say, you can kiss my ass and go to hell. If you like what I got to say, uh, leave it in the comment or a reply video or video response. Follow me on Twitter, Afro Joe the Wookie. Uh, subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3, man. If you see, if you go on my channel, you see a little Google Plus, yeah, you can holler at me on Google Plus. Don't be trying to, like, don't. That's how it is. It's been Afro Joe. Just tell like it is, because it's bullshit. Alright, I'll holler at you, man. Peace.